Hi, I am Balan Madhavan. I have been doing photography and wildlife photography seriously for more than three decades. If you don't have time to invest, like if you don't have time like three decades to make great pictures, then I can give you a small tip. Just go to East Africa. You go to Masai Mara or Serengeti, spend one week you can come back with amazing photographs because that's Africa for me. That's one place where you are guaranteed to get great photographs. Multiple reasons are there. Number one, unlike the forest of India, the African savannas are open and visibility is much, much better than the South Indian dense forests. Also, the light, the quality of light is also equally important, which is very good in Africa. And the most important thing is the behavior of animals. Maybe because of excessive tourism. If you go to Kenya, in places like Amboseli or, or Masai Mara, or if you go to Tanzania to places like Serengeti, the animals are so used to tourists and safari vehicles. They simply don't care about these vehicles at all. They, they ignore us and they go on their, their daily activities. So I have taken uh, aspiring photographers to Kenya for the last eight years and everyone has come back with a great collection of photographs. But what I do is in addition to showing them animals and uh, uh, help them make pictures, I also encourage people to do great compositions in their photographs. See, what is a great photograph? It's a beautiful arrangement of subjects within that frame. The frame can be horizontal, the frame can be vertical, the frame can be square, whatever way you want. A pleasing arrangement of subjects is what composition is all about. And Africa is a place where you can do perfect compositions in your wildlife photograph because you get all the time in the world to compose and you the light is always good you make great photographs i'll show this with one example of a african elephant the largest animal walking on earth so we were just traveling riding in the safari vehicles and one evening late afternoon Suddenly, the entire background sky became almost black with a very dense thundercloud. And the evening light was pouring in from the diagonal way and lighting the grass into, a, into almost like a color of gold. And in the middle of this was standing this lone elephant. So we could apply any technique possible, but as a, as a rule, every time I try to make pictures of animals, I always want to ensure that the habitat is equally important as the subject. So instead of going for a tight close-up of this elephant to show its, its strength and the muscles, I opted for a photograph which, which shows a lot of background, a lot of sky which is almost black because of the cloud and standing against this dark cloud was this elephant positioned in the rule of thirds. So what is a rule of third? A rule of third is one composition a theory. I don't call it a rule. It's only a composition theory which says that if you are able to divide your photograph into three portions, that is if you put two lines in your frame so that it is divided into three vertical portions and three horizontal portions, any point where a vertical and a horizontal line converge, that is an ideal position to place your subject. When you look at my photograph, you realize that, okay, I have not put the animal in the center of the frame. 
Nowadays, most young photographers are making this mistake of putting your subject in the center. If you put your subject in the center, people will straight away go there and look at the subject. They will not appreciate or enjoy the rest of the frame. But by putting my animal in the bottom right converging point and the animal is looking into the frame, I was able to create a balanced photograph. So this is one composition rule I want you to practice. This is not the only rule. There are so many other rules. There are rules like leading lines, tight frames and so many, so many other things are there. But in this particular photograph, I felt that a rule of thirds is the most ideal uh, rule or a, or, a, or a theory for composition. So enjoy my photograph and keep trying and attempting to make pictures with some kind of balance in your composition. Thank you. Thank you.